In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up user authentication using Devise. Okay, so for this tutorial, I went ahead and scaffolded up a simple uh, Rails application. Um, the only thing we have is uh, posts. So what we are going to do is install Devise, and then we are going to um, set it up so that a uh, user can sign in and sign out. As well, um, we will build out the posts from the current user. All right, so let's begin. Let's go over to rubygems.org and go to uh, search for device and grab the latest uh, 3.4.1 at the time of this recording. Um, I'm just going to go down here, copy it to my clipboard, then go to go to Sublime Text and let's see, open up your gem file. So down at the bottom, I'm just going to paste in uh, device, save that, go back to um, your terminal run bundle install and then that will go out and fetch the device gem the next thing we need to do is um, if we go to the device documentation which if you go under links on the ruby gems page click on home page and it'll take you to the github um, go down under uh, getting started so device um, Add it to your gem file, gem device. We already did that. Next, we need to run the generator, uh, Rails generate device install. So let's do that. So Rails G device colon install. All right, then this gives you a few things you need to do um, for your application. Um, I'm not going to do them in this tutorial, but I'll run through them real quick. Um, the first one, ensure you have defined a default URL um, in your environments. So um, you would want to add this to um, your config environments development.rb file. And then in production, you want to set it to the actual host of your application. And this would be for uh, sending emails and such. Uh, the next, you want to ensure you have defined a root URL. Uh, we have done that. If I go to my um, routes, um, I'm setting the root of the application to the post um, controller index action. The next, you want to ensure you have flash messages. I'm going to go ahead and add these, actually. Um, let me copy this. Let's go to app views uh, layouts application.html.erb. Um, above the yield, let's just paste those in. So what this does is um, it di displays messages and alerts to the user. For example, when you signed in, it will say um, successfully signed in, when you sign out, etc. All right, so the next thing, um, if you're deploying to Heroku, um, you want to add this in your config slash application. We are not. Um, and then the last one, you can copy the views for customization to your app by running Rails generate device views. So let's go ahead and do that. Rails G device colon views. Now, if I go to my application, you can see under um, app views, uh, there is now a device directory and it has um, the registration sessions, etc. So if I go to under registrations new, you can see this is the signup form and you are able to edit that and everything. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to our terminal. Next thing you need to do is create a model for your user. So if you go to the uh, documentation again, it gives us Rails generate device model, obviously replace model with whatever um, you are going to be using, for example, user or possibly admin. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to use user. So let's do that rails generate and it's uh, device and then user. Then if I go ahead and do a rake db colon migrate. Oh, actually, before I do that, let's go into sublime under db migrate um, device create. You can see that there are a few options you can uncomment if you want. Um, so it gives us like the um, email, encrypted password, reset, all of that stuff by default. Um, but if you want the, um, the email stuff, you'll want to uncomment this before you uh, migrate the file. 
and then you can make it lockable as well. For example, a banking type app, if you sign in or have a failed sign in more than uh, three times, it usually uh, locks you out of the account for X number of minutes. Um, so this is how you would uh, do something like that. So you'd want to uncomment that. Um, for this, we are just gonna go with the default. Um, so let's go ahead and rake db migrate and migrate our database. So now that that is done, you can go to your application, undefined method, hmm, let me try restarting our server. There it is. All right, so make sure to uh, restart your server after you uh, install all that. Now if I go to localhost slash user slash um, sign up, I believe, yeah, we get the sign up form and uh, sign in uh, gives us the login form. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign up. So I'll do hey at mckinseychild.me and then password, and our password, confirm the password and sign up. So now if I go to our console, Rails C, and uh, I can do something like user.count, you can see um, we have one user in the database. So if I do at user equals user.first, I can grab that user. And you can see um, it automatically encrypts the password for us, which is awesome because you don't ever want to see that. Um, and then you can see the current sign-in, um, last sign-in, uh, the created at, updated at, all of that good stuff, which is fantastic. Comes with uh, device by default. Um, so device is a fantastic gem, and I definitely recommend using it. All right, so let's get out of the console. And what we are going to do is uh, build out a post through um, the current user. So let's go in to um, our controller under controllers, post controller. All right, so a few things we need to tweak um, the def new and the def create. So instead of um, at post equals post.new, what we are going to do is um, current user dot posts dot build and then let's copy that and uh, replace the post dot new under the create but leave the post param now if you go back and uh, go to new post uh, you get an error and that is because um, the current user doesn't have an association with the posts so what we need to do to fix that is um, go to our terminal and we need to add a user ID to the post model. So let's do rails generates um, migration and then we're going to do add user ID to posts and then the user ID is going to be an integer and then hit enter. Now if we pop into um, our app or sublime go db migrate and find that migration. See, it's adding a column to the post table. It's adding the user ID, which is an integer. So let's go ahead and go back and do a rake db colon migrate. Now we need to add um, a few associations between the user model and the post. So let's open up the models, uh, the user model. Let's go under here. And the user is going to um, have or has many posts. Save that, and a post belongs to a user. Now if we go back and refresh, we should get, there we go, the error goes away. So let's go back into our console real quick, Rails C. Um, I'm gonna do uh, at post equals post dot first. So if you look at what that creates, the user ID is nil, but the good thing is we do have a user ID column on the um, post table. So now if I do this post should have a user ID. Create the post. All right, post was successfully created. Let's pop into our console again do at post um, equals post dot last. There we go. You can see now the um, user ID has a 
integer of one, which is the first user. And that is because in Sublime, under the post controller, we are building it from the current user. Pretty cool, right? So if we go back, now we have the ability to do something like, let's go into our views, posts, index. Let's do this. Let's add a um, another table header, say user. And then under the content, we will do post.user.email. Refresh that. Um, undefined method email. Let's see, why would that be? Let's go into our console and do um, at user equals user.email, or no, user.first, and that grabs that, at user.email, hey at mckinseychild.me. So let's grab the post, that post equals post.last. So this has a user um, ID, so we should be able to do at user, at post.user.email and pull out the email. So that's working. So something is not correct in here. Oh, 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 okay. So what is happening is we are getting an undefined method email because the first two posts we created, um, at post equals post.first, do not have a user ID. Uh, the user ID column is nil. So if I do at post equals post dot, whoops, at post dot user um, underscore ID equals one. At post dot save, at post, there we go, user ID is one. Let's do the same thing to um, post dot find uh, two. There we go, user ID is nil at post.user underscore ID equals one at post.save. All right, now if we go back and refresh, error should go away. There we go. So the error was happening because um, even though it did work, um, these two did not have the um, a user assigned to them, so it was throwing up an error. But you can see um, we can pull out which user created which post by doing at post.user.email. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so if we um, go to our application layout file, let's just add a, um, a link to method. Whoops. Link, make sure it has an equals. Link to, let's say sign up. And if you go to your terminal, get out of the console, do rake routes. You can see the routes created by device. So if we want to create a new uh, device registration new, we'd want this path right here. So new user registration, let's copy that and uh, go to path, go back, save that, refresh. So now we have a link to the sign up. Uh, we are already signed in. Let me copy that, go to incognito window, sign up. Very cool. So let's add one more for the sign in. Now instead of new user registration path, I believe it's gonna be new user um, session path. Let's save that and find out. So if I click sign in, it takes us to the login page, sign up takes us to the sign up page. Beautiful. So now we have the ability to sign in and sign up and we're also able to create a post and assign the post to the current user, and then we can pull out uh, which user created which post. So um, I can confirm that by, let's see, let's do another incognito, go to localhost. I'm gonna sign up again. I'm gonna say um, user at example.com, enter our password. Sign up, you have successfully signed up. Awesome, let's create a new post. Test post. All right, now let's go back. Beautiful, so you can see the first three were created by hey at mckinseychild.me, the other one was user at example.com. 
fantastic. One last thing I want to do before we finish is um, I want to make it so people who are not signed in are unable to um, edit or destroy a post because right now anyone could just click destroy. Are you sure? Yes. And it will destroy the post. Um, so what we want to do is go into our post controller and up top do a before action and we're going to do authenticate underscore user exclamation point. Uh, we want to throw up an exception except the index and the show. So let's save that, refresh. So what this does, I can show you if I remove this except index and show. Let's go to an incognito window. You can see I am not signed in, uh, so it automatically directs me when I try to go to the index to um, the login page. Now if I um, undo that, refresh, whoops, let's go back to localhost. There we go. So now I can go to the index and the show, but if I try to edit this, it will direct me to the login page because I don't have the credentials to do that. Pretty awesome, right? So what if I want to make it so these links don't show up unless I was the one who created this post? So for example, um, user at example.com, I shouldn't be able to destroy these. So let's go back to our show page under post index. And what we want to do is wrap around a um, little Ruby code around the link twos, uh, the edit and destroy. So what I'm going to do is uh, if device gives us a uh, little helper that is super useful, um, use user underscore if I type signed in question mark. And that is all there is to it. And let's tab that in and then end the if. So what this is doing is it won't show these posts unless the user is signed in. So if I go back and refresh, oops, let's go to localhost or incognito. You can see since I'm not signed in, those don't show at all. So I actually don't want to use this. What I want is um, if um, the post, if the post.user is equal to the current user, um, another helper that we get from device. Um, let's save that. Refresh. So since this post does not belong to me, um, I don't have the ability to see the edit and destroy links. As you can see, device is uh, pretty easy to uh, set up and use, and it is super powerful. It takes uh, care of the majority of the work for authentication in your Rails application. All right, guys, that is all for this device demo. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or comments, uh, hit me up on Twitter. It's at McKinsey Child. Uh, if you want to follow along for more, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. Or uh, if you want to hear from me every week uh, straight in your inbox, be sure to uh, check out my website, uh, McKinseyChild.me, and sign up for my newsletter. All right, see you guys next time.